Love is in the air, and today's what? Hearts, hearts, hearts. 情人节。情人节 right? So 情人节 actually literally means what? Like, well. Is the Qingren a Valentine? Because、yeah. Jie is holiday or festival, right? So Valentine's Day would be Qingren. Okay, Qingren. Okay, so Qingren actually just means lover. Yeah, and not necessarily. A, you know, well, you tell us. So what exactly is a Qingren? Right. Okay, so you wouldn't call your spouse a Qingren. Qingren、mm. is really just like the English word lover. Okay. So yeah, it's very broad, a, general. It just means a lover. Somebody a you're Fran- a lover. There's a French movie called Lover, and then the Chinese translation of that movie is just 情人 Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 情人 Right. So 情人节 is just like Valentine's Day. Lover's、right? Day. Lover's Day. So that 情人节快乐 is like Happy Valentine's Day, right? 情人节快乐 So is it? Can I say? Is that what I would say to my partner? 情人节快乐 Hmm. Like、yeah. Happy Valentine's.、Day. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. So. Your other than a 情人 you could also say, 爱人 No, 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 no. 爱人节快乐 You cannot, no, uh,、uh-uh. uh. So you know, right? The first、mm. thing you learn in Chinese is 爱 is、mm. love, right? So and we're gonna talk about that character in a minute. In、actually. a minute, yes. But 爱人 doesn't mean 情人 It's it's totally different. Yeah. 爱人 actually just means your spouse. Yeah, it's like an, it's a formal word. So if you That means spouse, right? right Husband right. or wife. And if you look at the characters, you would think it means lover. It's the word、mm-hmm. you would think would be lover, and that's why we wanted to、it's、include not, it. It's not right. But it's not. So my mom, you know, when introducing my dad to other people, he or she will say, "Oh, 这是我的爱人 right?"、Yeah. So 爱人 is just like spouse. Yeah. So it's really funny that for some Chinese couples, you know, your spouse, 你的爱人 may not be the person that you. Love it may not、right. be 你爱的人你爱的人 and 爱人 are two different things. And it also, so yeah, if you said this is my 爱人 maybe it sounds like this is my lover, right? But, that's, but it's, it's not. It's just my spouse. <laughs> so it's pretty neutral and pretty generic. Okay. So today we're going to teach you a bunch of words about love, right?、Uh, and they might sound very 肉麻 All right. So this is a great word. <laughs> Super cool word. So 肉 means what? 肉 is like flesh or meat. Right, and ma means like numb or buzzing. This is numb. Right,、ma. so you know when we talk about the Sichuan,、uh, Sichuan Thai, right?、Yep. It's like numbing, spicy. Ma that's、la. ma. So、um, it's like the feeling that you have goosebumps because something's too corny, too. Yeah. So if, if like if you've ever watched a movie and there's a really romantic scene, or you're walking down the street and you see two people like. Kissing or in this really romantic scenario, and it makes you like uncomfortable, right? Yeah. You're like, oh, it's just so <laughs> cheesy, it's so sappy, and that feeling is rou. Rou ma. So、right. if you're watching like a movie and there's a scene like that, you can say, oh, how rou ma. Yeah. Hi, rou ma. Yeah, but today we're gonna talk about rou ma. Rou ma, the thing. We're、right? gonna embrace the rou ma. Yeah, we're no nobody's above it. Okay, nobody's above rou ma thing. All right, so let's get that started. All right, so um, love, right? So we have to talk about this word, I. Yeah. So. Lots of you probably already know this word. It's one of the first words that people learn when they're learning Chinese, right? It's very easy to say, one syllable, just like English, I. But let me. I want to ask you first, Yang Yang, as somebody who speaks both native, pretty much native English, and you're a native Chinese speaker. What do you think is the difference between the Chinese word I and the English word love, or、mm. is there a difference? And yeah, what, what are your thoughts on that? I think that it's not the difference between whether or not exists, but it's about it, the extent to which it's、mm. used, right? In China, I remember that.、Uh, but here, you know, you end up your conversations with your friends, your family. You say, "Hey, I love you."、Right? Love you.、Like, love you, mom. It's all of, all over the place. Yeah.、Right? But in China, people use it very sparingly. Right. Right. So you use it in a very special occasions, or you know, I only ever just write, "I love you, mom and dad." Right. Yeah. In text. I don't even remember that my mom and dad ever says they love me.、But、It doesn't course, mean that they don't yeah, love me, of right? Of course just, they love just you. Just the Chinese way, just 我爱你 just too much. It feels like you get 肉麻 and just、mm. uncomfortable, right? So, so basically, it's like you're saying it's the same word, but culturally it has more weight to it when you say it out loud, and so you don't hear it as often in China. Right. This、okay. whole love thing, I think, has a lot to do with the, the Western society, the religion, and everything. But in China, just I seems just Too much, yeah. yeah. So let's look at this like image from our. So this is the character, the simplified character for love,、mm-hmm. right? And you might think, ah,、oh, I'm not sure how to remember this, and、uh, maybe this it's, it's it's a relatively complicated character, but 
uh, we have some cool images that you can use to remember it. Mm -hmm. So this is something that one of our illustrators created to kind of For create our character a, course, a like, visual mnemonic, right? Right. So you can see how it's kind of like a guy holding an umbrella over a rain cloud. Right? Right. So for this is the simplified character, right? The bottom, it means like friend, right? So underneath there are like two friends. So this section here means friend at the bottom, right? Yo, right. Yeah, and then actually the, the traditional character has like a heart right yeah. in it. So that, you know, the traditional way of describing love in Chinese is that, you know, the top thing, you look like a hand, right? Mm. A hand holding and underneath the roof, there's a heart in traditional character. And it's like you hold your hand, uh, you hold your heart. And at the bottom of the traditional character, uh, we don't have that, but it's like walking characters. It's like you walk to someone and hold your heart, heart and hand it over to that person. Yeah. It's like you give your heart to that person. That's the Chinese love. So the benefit of the traditional one is that you can make a cooler story. But the benefit of the simplified one is it's much easier to write and remember, right? <laughs> right. So underneath so. is a friend and then umbrella, ring. So that's like how we develop the mnemonic, mnemonics for uh, visual cue for our Yo Yo Chinese uh, character students. Yeah. All of our character course videos use illustrations like this and GIFs and animations and stuff to help you remember the characters with more meaning. Right. right. But you see that image there? Um, you see, the Chinese eye is really just you do things for other people. Right. Right. I just recently a friend of mine w w is in love, and all she does with the with the guy is just like, oh, let me bring some dumplings to your over to your house. Yeah. Right? But the, nobody has ever said anything, but just they start doing things. Like for each gestures, other. right? Gestures. So it, yes. it's not like Westerners don't do romantic gestures. Obviously, we do, but it's very common and very stressed mm -hmm. in Chinese ideas of romance, right? That. The man usually, but not always, uh, both actually will do these gestures of love for each other. Right. right? You know, for example, a boy will start buying f mm, you know, stuff for the girl's mom. You know, that's like, yeah. what? That's, that's a like... big step for, <laughs> for, for my <laughs> kinds of relationships. But anyway, so for just in case you don't know how to say I love you in Chinese, that's just I yeah. need. Yeah. Very basic, very easy. Just like English, I love you. I yes. need, I love you. Mm -hmm. But here, I really want to mention that the the, the word I is not the, exactly the equivalent of love in English. Mm. When you say, let's say this uh, sentence, right? 我爱吃中国菜. I love to eat Chinese food, mm -hmm, which nope. is true. I do love to eat food. <laughs> Actually, like one of my students used to tell me like, oh, 我爱吃中国菜, because he thought he was saying, I love to eat Chinese mm. food. But I actually just means like. Yeah, you could use it kind of like how we say, oh, I love Chinese food, right? You just say it very casually. It doesn't actually mean you're in love with it. It's not like a degree. It doesn't right. add so much to the degree, right? right? Yep. So um, if you want to say, I love to do something, right? You say, well, fei chang, right? Fei chang, very much. That's how you add the degree. So could I say, well, fei chang, I chi zhong guo cai. Yeah, that's fine. Well, fei chang, I chi ri ben cai. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Shou si. Yeah. Well, Fei Chang, right? So I do some things, just like to do something. And also, just real quick, and the I also has the, the yeah, what, meaning of. Once you learn this word I, you're going to see it in sentences like this too that say, Ta ai sheng qi. It's not like he loves to get angry. Yeah, it doesn't mean he enjoys sheng qi being angry, right? It doesn't mean he enjoys being angry, but it means that he often becomes angry, right? Just in the habit of being angry. Yeah, okay? so you'll, you'll see this other definition of I, right? Which mm -hmm. is just frequently do something. Anyway, so that's yeah, about I, right? So, yeah. so I, it's um, it's a complicated word. So let's uh, see a few words with I in it. Okay. All right. So the first one is I shang. I shang. I shang. Right. So you probably know that shang means up, yeah. right? I is love. So love up. What does that mean? <laughs> to, to go up in love. <laughs> Go so, up in love, that's like the next step of love is like you have to fall exactly. in love. Exactly. So unlike in English where you fall into it. You fall down into yeah, love. Yeah, it's not I xia, right? It's yeah. you, I xia, so you fall in love. Well, I xia right? right? I fell right. in love with her. Yeah. And I find this interesting. I know this is just kind of maybe a coincidence or whatever. It doesn't really mean this. But in English, there's like no 
you don't have to do anything. You just fall in love. It's very like, mm. it's not up to you, right? It just happens. But with Aishang, I get this feeling of like going up. And so you have to like climb the ladder of love and like do the work <laughs> or something. So it kind of feels like it has a different connotation to me. Right. But in Chinese, the shang is just like result, uh, verb result. It shows yeah. that you, when you I, right? The then action. Something and, came of it. Yeah, exactly. The result of I is like you fall in love, right? Fall in love. So. Cool. Aishang. All right. So the next one I want to te- we want to teach you is this word like. Mm. So this came from wondering how to say, well, uh, yeah, I fell in love with someone, but how do you say I'm dating somebody, right? And it, this also uses the word I, even if you haven't said, like, I love my girlfriend, right? If you haven't gotten to the level of saying you love them, you would still use this to say you're dating them, right? Right. It's really interesting because tan is actually means discuss, right? Yeah. Discuss. And then you're like, discuss love? Like, lian We're, I means like affair or... Were like a courtship, right? Yeah, so if I said, woman zai tan lian ai, right? Uh-huh. I get the feeling of like, we are talking about love or something. Right, that literally it sounds like that, but nobody yeah. really thinks that way because tan lian ai becomes this word that just means like dating. It's almost like uh, the in old times, right, when people are con- when people are still conservative, right. right? The way you really are dating are just like getting to know each other yeah. by talking no and chatting. No Netflix and chill, right? <laughs> You're just actually talking. <laughs> right, chatting. So like tan lian ai, right? So sometimes we can even just use the word tan, say we're, we're dating. Yeah, and actually, uh, in one of our video lessons from the Upper Intermediate Conversational Course, mm-hmm. um, one of we're asking these women, you're in China, in Shenzhen, I think, and you're asking your friends about their relationships, and this woman, one of the women uses the, this word, and she, instead of saying even tan lian ai, she just says tan. Right, right. So, so the, the clip we're going to see is when uh, I visited my cousin Mindy, and she's my biao mei, my cousin, right? And she's a wonderful dancer. And after um, I saw them dance beautifully, I asked them a bunch of questions about their life. So this is the, the video you're going to see. This is from our, our upper intermediate conversational course. All right. <laughs> So we can break this down, right? So you ask them, Are you all married, right? Mm, so you're all married, yeah. married mm-hmm. right? And then there's this kind of awkward time. <laughs> and they say, some Nope. Have, some haven't, yeah. yeah, meaning that not everybody has married, right? <laughs> <laughs> so they ask her, right? And she says, and the first time I see that, you know, you think like, oh, well, we're only, right? She's kind of, they're only dating, right? She's kind of talking down, for yeah. the time being, meaning for the time being or just for now. Yeah, we're, and I'm just dating. Yeah. yeah, so nothing serious yet. Yeah, that's what she was trying so to say. If she says that, do you get the feeling that it's serious and mm-hmm. she thinks they're going to get married? Like, oh, yeah, like, for now we're married. Or do you get the feeling that she's like, eh? I don't feel that sounds very serious. Yeah. yeah, they're just dating because if if not, she would ask ask something like, "Oh yeah, 可是我们, we're about to get, get married or something like that." So if let's say you're driving in a taxi or something, and uh, the taxi driver says, "Hey, you know, 你结婚了吗? Can you answer 暂时在谈? Or do you have to be asked 你有男朋友吗? or something like that? I guess, yeah, if you say that, the taxi driver will understand what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, usually there's context, right, where you hear tan lian ai or something and then tan. Right, the something like version that. of it or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm, but, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, or if you add, want to ask someone, like, are you dating? He's like, oh, you're dating tan lian ai? Ma? Mm. Right, so, yeah. All right, so the next one we want to teach you is a very good word. Gan qing. Gan qing. So, gan meaning feeling, right? Like from gan jue. Yeah, qing means affection. So, together, it means affection and love, right? Mm. So, uh, why don't we just show people, students, the, this clip? Yeah, we actually also, in our Upper Intermediate Conversational Chinese course, this word came up when you're talking to your friend Mindy, right? Your, My cousin. Your cousin, Mindy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's not just talking about romantic love. You guys are talking about pets, <laughs> right? Yeah, mm-hmm. but so, let's see how this word 感情 yeah. is used. 
。这小动物酿酒了，就跟你的家人一样，是有感情的吗 ？So that was pretty fast. Let's break it down first, and then we'll watch your breakdown as well.、Then. So. 确实，小动物酿酒了，就跟你。She says, 确实，小动物你养久了。So. So actually, or indeed, after you've raised animals for a long time, so 小动物 being animals, right? And then 你养久了 So 养 is to raise or take care of pets, right? And 久 being a long time. 确实，小动物养久了就跟你的家人跟你的家人一样是有感情的嘛 So she's like, just like your 家人 your family members, 是有感情的 So there is, or there will be, like this ganching, this this feelings, or these this love, right, for your animals,、mm. just like there would be with people.、Mm -hmm. So can ganching be used with people too, though? For sure, absolutely. So I could say, you know, 我跟我的家人是有感情的 Yeah, for example, you 对 somebody 有感情 That means like have affections or love somebody. Well, why not just say I? Okay, so then let's let's hear our explanation in the video. 是有感情的吗？在这里，感情有一个新的意思 ：love, attachment, and affection. When Chinese people talk about love, we use the word 感情 way more than I love. The word 感情 just sounds less direct and in your face than the word I. 感情 is more subtle and more comfortable to say. I feel like it's kind of like saying I have feelings for someone, right? Rather than saying like you're not really saying you love them because that sounds too strong, right? But you are saying you have feelings of love towards them, right? Right. It is. It sounds like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, for example,、um, you know, let's say everybody believes that this girl marries that guy because like she thinks he has money or something, right? right? But then in that girl's defense, they can say, hey, you know, no, 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 we love each other. Like, or she loves me, I love. I, I love her, etc. And then you know they will use this like 对 somebody 有感情 and then we can say like 他 like you know like female 他对他是有感情的、mm. or 他们有感情 means they have love,、yeah. right? So just this 感情 words just sounds so much easier for Chinese people. People to say, yeah. Yeah, and th I think that's the benefit of our courses too, is because it doesn't just play the video and you have to figure it out on your own. It shows real dialogue and then follows it up with that kind of insight,、mm -hmm, right? With、mm -hmm. the blackboard, and that's the lecture portion of the videos where we really go into detail about what the implications of the language being used are, rather than just here's the language, you、yeah. know, memorize the vocab and you're done. Yeah. Right? right. There's often so much more going on behind the scenes with the culture and the implications and stuff like that. So. Right, because at the Uh, in the beginner level, you just say "What I need, I love you," right? But that's not exactly、yeah. how all Chinese people express their love. So our upper intermediate conversational course just helps you add those shades or subtleties and nuances around the language, so you can speak more like a real Chinese person. Yeah, it helps you think <laughs> think like a Chinese person. Right. All right. So that's about love. What about something like maybe not as big as love? And yeah, we were thinking like, okay, so for Valentine's Day, we got to talk about love. But what's Not as big as love, right? Is just liking somebody. So what if you love, you don't love somebody yet? You're in a nice relationship with them. You think they're cute or something, and you want to say you like them. Well, how do you do that, right? That's just the simple word. 喜欢喜欢 Yeah, 喜欢喜欢 Yeah. Right, third tone, first tone. Every a lot of people, you've probably learned this word already, but we're gonna go into a little bit more detail with it. But so my first question would be in Chinese culture. Let's say you're in class. You're like 12 years old. And you think this boy is cute or something?、Uh, would you say to them, like, "I like you"? Yeah. Do you, do you use the verb 喜欢 to mean like? Because in English we often do this, "I like like you," right? You say <laughs> 我喜喜欢你 or something. I don't know. Like, what's the Chinese equivalent of implying that、exactly、you like somebody? Exactly the same. Yeah. 我喜欢你 That's it. Yeah.、Nice. Mm -hmm. So you can just say to some person you like or you have a crush on. Now that is not always so easy. So I have a story. When I first started dating my wife. Uh, we actually like on the third or fourth date. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell her I like her. So in my naivety, you know, I was like, hey,、uh, I just yeah, I I really 我很喜欢你 And she immediately was like, 我也很喜欢你 And the way she said it, I was just like, oh, I don't think she really understood what I meant. <laughs> so you it it does kind of depend on the the delivery, right? And how you say it. And you'd be like, hey, 
我喜欢你。Like, is that is that good enough? Like, how would you make sure they got the message? Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, so yeah. let's say. Okay, so you might so be wondering have, why we have these little guys back there. Yeah, get this ready. Okay, so Ling Ling and uh, what what you call what name? I call Dudu. Dudu. Okay. All right, Dudu. Okay, say something. Ling Ling, I like you. I also like you. So that was good enough, right? No, see that like shows that Ling Ling doesn't really get it, right? And then so you have to say it differently. Oh, okay. okay. So how do I say it? Okay, uh, Ling Ling, I want to talk to you about something. 好吧，说吧。我对你有感情。Is that good enough? Or do I have to say? <laughs> <laughs> Thinking. <laughs> 想，我在想，我在想，我在想。嘟嘟，你在想什么 ？OK， 我也喜欢你。All right. 好，那你要跟我去吃饭吗？好，我们去吃饭。Let's go eat. High five. High five. OK， 再见。Anyway, Jason hates it. You know, like Jason didn't really want to do this. <laughs> I well, like it. I like it's, it. It's all my idea. It just, I think it's really funny, and especially this one. I think this guy just looks absolutely hilarious. So it's hard for me to do it without He's cracking bald. up. Yeah. Okay. So okay, that's 喜欢 right? It's pretty simple、mm. and forward, straightforward. Um, and then the next one we want to show you is. 暗恋 Yeah, 暗恋 So let's say you're in school, you do like somebody, and but you don't. Want to tell them, right? So this is how you say you have a crush on somebody. Exact secret crush. Yeah. So a、啊、means secret. Dark. Dark secret, and 恋 just means like 谈恋爱。恋 means aff、um, affection, love.、Right? Yeah. 暗恋 So、uh, a good example would be、um, in the TV show Friends. Ross has a crush on Rachel.、Mm. That means Ross 暗恋 Rachel, right? So Ross has a crush on Rachel. Yeah. 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 暗恋 ，All right. 暗恋、so、，and this this actually also comes up in our、uh, course in again in the upper intermediate conversational Chinese course, and you're talking to your friend, right? My best friend from high school, and we actually went back to my high school. You know, in the, our UICC, you see、um, what my high school looks like, and so when we were walking around the playground in the high school, and we had lots of flashbacks. So we were talking about this guy who were having a crush on her when we were young. Yeah, and you can see already in the subtitles, right? That she says, "You tell," or you say to her, "You tell Gong Te An Lian Ni." So let's yeah, don't play it. Let's listen to that. You tell Gong Te An Lian Ni. You tell Gong Ah, you have? I told you. You tell Gong Te An Lian Ni. You tell Gong Ah, you have? I told you. So you're telling her that this guy, Yu Cheng Gong, which means hilariously, his name means success. Yes,、yeah, success, Yu.、Yeah. So Yu <laughs> success,、uh, Te meaning like really or a lot, right? An Lian Ni. So、yeah. you could say somebody Te. So Rachel Te An Lian, or no Ross, sorry, Te An Lian Rachel. Sure. Right, and then she's like, 真的吗 Yu Cheng Gong Te An Lian Ni. Yu Cheng Gong Ah, 有吗 Yeah, she. That's a face of someone who knows that it ha- it was happening. She's trying to pretend like <laughs> she. Had No idea. <laughs> no, she was one of the most popular girls in in high school, and all guys were having a huge crush on her. So, you know, I I don't think that she knows that particular particular guy, but she knows like guys are in general.、Yeah. And the fact that she doesn't know means that Yu Cheng Gong was not Cheng Gong. Yeah, no, because he didn't not tell her. Like, right? <laughs> not no success. All right, so the next one we want to show you is so, just like.、Um, so yeah. go ahead, go ahead. I want you guys to try to guess if you're watching. When you're watching, try to guess the meaning、okay. of how this would be used and what it means. Okay. So, 发好人卡 Okay. 发 means to distribute, to give out. Yep. 好人 means good person. 卡 just means card, card. So if this is my 好人卡 and I 发好人卡给你 So let's say I have a 好人卡 Okay. You know, in my hand. So what what do you think it means? Yeah, it's a funny one, right? This is a new word. All the young kids are using it, and it's the Chinese way of saying like friend zone, right? Friend zone. So to basically tell somebody that you just want to be friends, and shut down their crush on you, you can you know get them and fa ho ren ka. Right. So for example, if a guy or a you know tells this girl, hey, I really love you. 我喜欢你，我很喜欢你，我对你很有感情。你要不要跟我做女朋友 or something like that, right? And then、okay. she says. 对不起，我只要做你的朋友。Yeah, 我只要做朋友对不起， right? 我们做朋友吧。Let's just be friends. 我们只做朋友吧。Right?、Mm, so then let's just, just be friends. And then、so、he can go home and be like,、oh, and tell his buddies like,、oh, you know, 他给我发好人卡。Right? 
So she gave me a good guy card. <laughs> So, it's so interesting. Actually, this is something I just uh, I learned only recently because this is a pretty modern, very yeah, very modern, yeah, right? Like the new kind of internet slang and yeah. stuff like that. So, <laughs> but you can go use it. Okay. So the next one is okay. Yuan Yi. Yeah. Now Yuan Yi, fourth tone, fourth tone, literally means like, or more like, if you look it up in a dictionary, right, you'll find the definition is to be willing. Right. So what does this have to do with love? You know, okay, so first... There's two hearts in there, by the way. Heart, heart. <laughs> two hearts, right. So when Chinese people, um, you know, at a wedding, we don't say, we, I do, we say, yi. I'm willing. I'm willing. Okay, so that's the first thing. And second, I would love for you to just remember this sentence structure. Okay, so Okay, so what kind of thing can we add to it? Okay, when you ask some girl to do anything, Maybe use this sentence structure. All right, so. 你愿意做我的女朋友吗? Right. 你愿意做我的女朋友吗? And to an English sounding ear, this sounds so silly. Are you willing to be my girlfriend? That's that just, do you want to be my girlfriend? She's like, I'm willing. I don't really want to, but I'm willing, <laughs> you know. But, but it actually, even though it's translated that way often, the meaning is, do you want to? Right, so you can change 女朋友 to 男朋友. Would you like to be my boyfriend? But that sounds weird. No, no. Why? Girls, some girls ask, assertive, maybe more direct. Maybe the boy okay. is taking too long to ask and the yeah, girl's forced maybe. into it. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right. So, but in that case, you say, 我喜欢你 first. You don't just ask, sure. like, would you like to be my boyfriend, right? Okay, so the next one is like when you take the relationship to the most serious level, that will be. So, this verb here. 嫁 is very special, and the meaning of this whole sentence is, will you marry me? Mm -hmm. 你愿意嫁给我吗? But it can only be said to a girl. By a guy. By a guy. So if the woman is going to marry the man, it is, she is 嫁给他. Right. So she's giving him the participation in the marriage, right? She's, it's different than saying, will you marry me? There isn't a verb. 你要, no, you don't use the word 结婚 that way, right? You have to use this special verb, 嫁给, so. 对,你愿意嫁给我们, it's almost like, would you like to give yourself to me, kind mm. of, right? So, this is what you say, like, in your proposal. I'm, so, if a girl proposes to a guy, this will be different. Yep, and yeah. the verb will change to 娶,你愿意娶我吗? Yeah, mm. right, and so. there's no gay, there's just 娶. Yeah, but it's not very common, so we didn't put yeah. in the cards, so. All right, so. All right, so the next one I want to teach you. Oh, and real quick, the answer to that is 愿意 or 不愿意. Yeah, 我愿意, 我不愿意, all yeah. right? Hmm. Okay, so the next one is 在一起. 在一起 just means like be together, right? Yeah, and, and this is just like in English, right, where you can kind of imply that two people are in a relationship by saying they're together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So 他们两个在一起吗? Or 我们在一起很久了. Right, that does mean you're in a romantic relationship, right? So just like in English, you can use zaiichi together to be a euphemism for a relationship. Right. All right. So um, let's say, 跟我在一起 means be together with me, right? So that's another way of asking a girl. <laughs> All right. I forgot his name. <laughs> oh, Ling Ling. Ling Ling. Ling Ling. Okay. Ling Ling. 你愿意? <laughs> and then he goes and runs away crying. <laughs> All right, 跟我在一起 means be together with me. And then you uh, just add this sentence structure. 你愿意跟我在一起吗? All right, so that's how you do it. 愿意, 愿意, 愿意. All, right, so. All right, so the last one we want to teach you, the very last one is the... I would say let's just use this word to conclude this the, mm. hour. The most... It's it's not Roma because it's it's truly romantic. It's truly romantic, um, right? Yeah. So so this is a. Why don't we just? Um, let's watch the clip first. Yeah, let's watch the clip together. All right. So this is actually your parents. So right. In the upper intermediate conversational course, we actually interview your parents quite a bit and talk to them about their thoughts and feelings, and stuff about Chinese culture and relationships. And here they're talking about each other, right? Yeah. This one I was interviewing them, asking them question them the question. Uh, what's your hope and dreams, mm. right? What are your hopes and dreams? So this is what they said. Cool. 女儿身体好, 女儿一切都好, 
，我们也放心。还有一条，跟我关系高好。<笑>我们俩关系始终是要好的<笑>。我们俩是要叫白头偕老的。我们俩是要叫白头偕老的。The two of us are going to be called growing old together. 妈妈还加了一句话：“我们俩是要叫白头偕老的。”白头偕老是一个成语，我们看看它是什么意思。We know 白 is white and 头 is head. 偕 is a formal and literary word component that means together, and 老 we know means old. So 白头偕老 is to live together until old age. 对很多中国人来说，白头偕老是爱情的最高期望。而且这个词在中国人眼里是很浪漫的。It's kind of like the English saying to grow old together. So yeah, as we explained, it's a Chinese, so an idiom, a Chinese idiom, right? That literally means to have white hair and be together old. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. Right. So if you say to somebody like,、uh, you know, for example, my、uh, my wife at home, Bella, who's probably watching,、uh, you know. Let's see here. She better be watching. So, 情人节快乐 I love you. 我爱你 And 你愿意跟我光头偕老吗 So I've taken this word 白头偕老 and changed it from white hair to no hair. 光头偕老 Grow old and bald with me.、Oh, love you. Happy Valentine's Day. I think Bella would love it.、Oh. I'll bring this home to you later. <laughs> Oh, Bella must be like so happy. That. That's <laughs> but, so cool. But but this is、uh, a great expression, right?、So、yeah, I think this、yeah. is a very very romantic expression because it's n it's not something so strong and so like aggressive. It's just like you know, just grow old together. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually truly romantic, right? So this、it's、one、really、isn't、romantic. so real, ma, right? Because it's actually a nice thing. To yeah,、say. it's very nice thing.、Yeah. But anyway, so the video you saw, there, I know there's a lot、Sorry. of Chinese there. <laughs> it's because in our courses that we actually have. Uh, uh, at our intermediate level, we almost have like an eighty twenty,、um, you know, like a balance. balance of Chinese to English. So that lots of times that you will hear my ch instructions in Chinese, but you will have the option of turning on the subtitle to understand everything I say.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the the really cool thing about it is that it's a slow progression from the beginner course with almost only the only Chinese in the beginner course is like occasional and in clips, and it's where it's teaching you the actual words, but all the instruction is in English. To where you get to the intermediate course, where there's a lot more clips of actual long-form Chinese with the lectures in English, and then you get to upper intermediate where there's the opposite, right? And there's a ton of the lectures that are in Chinese, and so you get to experience this increase in difficulty that happens very naturally, and this immersion eventually, you know, just basically trains you to be comfortable in more and more Chinese over time.、Mm -hmm, and it, mm -hmm. It's really effective. Yeah, check it out. Like it's on yoyochinese.com. All right. Yeah. So、uh, we have this. We do this kind of hangout at least like once a month. So do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes. And more is coming. And also, just please sign up at yoyochinese.com and like try out our courses there. Yeah, and if you have any ideas for hangouts you want to see us do and things you want to see us talk about, definitely let us know in the comments, and we will see what we can do. All right. So. Okay, so now let's actually take some questions from students. So yes, I'm very excited about it. All right. <laughs> Here we go. 